good day all welcome to my channel today we are discussing on the trust wallet guide tutorials for beginners as a beginner how do you navigate install and use your trust wallet app effect most effectively we'll give a brief in history on trust wallet trust wallet it's an exchange app that was funded in the year 2017 and was later acquired by Binance in the year 2018. It is a private and secure exchange. Your password, your personal data, and your key phrase are all stored securely on your device, giving you complete control of your funds. Except when your funds, when your passwords are being compromised through theft or loss. It needs to be kept very safe. All your tokens, all your NFTs that you acquired are safely stored on your wallet. To get a trust wallet, you go to your Play Store and type trust wallet. On typing trust wallet, you search. As you can see here, it shows open that is because trust wallet is already installed on this device but for a new device and a device that has never downloaded trust wallet before it will show download whereby you click the download button and download your trust wallet upon downloading the trust wallet it the page opens up like this showing you the private and secure keys never leave your device so this tells you two things first and foremost it lets you know it asks you to create a new wallet or it asks you to import an already existing wallet so you take the decision and follow the process of creating a new wallet it tell it gives you your 12 keywords that you have to copy and keep securely and safely those words are the words that you need use as your personal password and and serves as your security to back up your account and if you have an existing wallet that you want to import into the device you only click on the i already have a wallet so you import it into this new device that you are using once the account is created, it opens up for you and it shows you your balance. This is where you see the balance, whatever money you have in your account. And on the home page, you see the send, you see receive, you see buy, and you see swap. All these functions will be explained in details shortly. And also, you can see that you have the BNB, Ethereum, and BTC coin already on the home page. You can add more coins by clicking on this portion. Once you click on it, it gives you the list of so many coins that are in the market. So whichever of them that you need, let's, for example, search for USDT. You see different types of USDT coin being uploaded. So you now sc scroll through and select the particular one you want. And once the coin you have chosen is up, just like this KS, KCS coin, what you do next is to click on this portion to import it into the home page. So once you go to the home page, you can see that the KCS. That the KCS coin has been imported to the home page. 
very simple and also if you need more information about a particular coin you click on that coin using this case yes as an example you click on it as you click on it it gives it opens up and tells you the current price of the coin which is this and once you click on this feature here it gives you additional information about the kcs coin and this kcs coin is a kucoin community coin kcs at present the price of the coin is 8.56 dollars it shows you movement of the coin in the one hour one day one week one month one year duration and if you want to see beyond that you click on the all it tells you how the coin has been moving and in the market within these times it also shows you a brief history about the coin you can read about it if you want to know more it shows you their website the explorer the market cap the volume the circulating supply and the total supply of kcs and then you can also view it through on coin market cap all this information are gotten from the trust wallet app you can send and receive money through the app you can also swap you can also stick all these features are done at when you and when the need arises for you to send a particular token out you click on the token you want to send for example you want to send kcs to another app exchange you click on it you click on this send button here So once you click on the send it opens up and asks you to impute the address of the receiver then the amount of the coin that you want to send out before you now click on continue following this process enables you to send kcs coin to another exchange and to another individual successfully and stress-free and you can also receive kcs coin from other exchanges and other persons to your own account through this receive icon once you click on it it opens up showing you your kcs wallet address yes your kcs wallet address and you copy it through this copy icon so once you copy your address you share it to the person or to the exchange platform that you are to send the kcs from to your trust wallet and you are encouraged to ensure that the address that you copy is not altered you ensure that you copy the exact address as you will need to send slash receive the crypto to avoid losing of funds and you can also buy crypto on your trust wallet using a third party provider you click on this buy button here it opens up you select the coin you want to buy btc once you click on it it opens then the price the amount that you have to buy is being displayed and then here you can select the provider 
you want to the third party provider you want to partner with to buy the coin you can see that many providers are being listed here so all you need to do is to select the one you are comfortable with and then you carry on with the process of buying of your coin it's as simple as that and then you can also stake a particular coin for example you want to stake btc for example you want to stake bnb all you need to do is to click on the staking and it opens up It shows you your available balance in BNB in your account. Then you now select the amount you want to stake. And the minimum amount for staking on Trust Wallet here is 1 BNB. It shows you the amount of APR to be paid. The lock time you select it and then you now stake. As simple as that. So you can also go to your DAFs browser on your Trust Wallet homepage. Yes, what is called browser. You can click on it. It opens up to different portals. Where you can carry out different activities you can also copy other links that you need to upload using your trust wallet you copy it and paste it in the search once you search you copy and paste you can now successfully search that particular information you want through the browser on the Trust Wallet. And still on the Trust Wallet app, we have the settings. Once you click on the settings, it offers you opportunity to create more wallets, additional wallet accounts. As the need demands and the need so aside adding additional wallets you also have the opportunity to get notified on the particular price of a coin that you choose by clicking on this price alert once you click on this price alert you turn it on and you select the coin that once it hits a particular price, you should be notified. For example, you want BTC. Now, once BTC falls down to, let's say, 22,000 or 21,000, you should be notified. So, once you hit the price alert, on any change of price on BTC, you will be notified. Then, still on the settings, you still have other applications that you can use on the settings as a beginner what you need to concentrate on is this your security this your security shows you to enter your passcode on this security it shows you how to lock your your trust wallet app your lock mode and then ask for authentication when authorizing a transaction once the account is being infiltrated upon and the person does not have access to all this they cannot access your account so this provides you an opportunity that in an event of any emergency of loss or theft your account cannot be infiltrated upon once the security modes are being set up You can also join 
and join them on their social media handle, the Twitter, the Telegram, Facebook, Reddit, and YouTube. So once there's any notification from Trust Wallet, you'll be notified. So this is a brief run through in the Trust Wallet app tutorials. If you like my video, please do give me a thumb up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more interesting and educating videos. Bye.